everything going on in your world this week. This is Top Story Weekly. Good evening, and here's our top story. Veteran White House correspondent Helen Thomas resigned following criticism of her statement that Jewish people should leave Palestine. Thomas explained that she was bitter towards the Jews ever since Moses turned her down for their high school prom. <laughs> Schwarzenegger had to re-vote in Tuesday's election after a scanning machine rejected his ballot. Schwarzenegger's only previous involvements in voting mishaps were the two times that he was elected. <laughs> On Thursday, the USC football program received a number of sanctions covering the next two seasons. Since USC won't be playing in the postseason those years, it plans to change its name to UCLA. <laughs> More than 400 medical marijuana dispensaries in Los Angeles are under orders to close in order to comply with a new city ordinance. The ordinance will also result in the closure of over 400 Taco Bells. <laughs> On Tuesday, the black dress worn by Princess Diana at her first appearance with Prince Charles sold at an auction for $276,000. Said the auctioneer, Yes, and unfortunately, we weren't able to raise quite as much money for the items that Camilla Parker Bowles wore with her first appearance with Prince Charles. <laughs> The saddle and <laughs> the harness, <laughs> the bridle, <laughs> the reins, <laughs> the shoes that they nail to the. Oh, so disgusting! Oh. In Uganda, police discovered a marijuana plantation growing in a garden of a convent. The convent came under suspicion after Woody Harrelson applied to be a nun. <laughs> Kevin Costner says that a research team he funded has invented a machine that can clean up the Gulf oil spill. The research team accepted Costner's help due to his extensive experience dealing with huge disasters. <laughs> and now where hard news meets Hollywood, here with our entertainment news is Cosmo Kawanga. You're welcome! You're welcome! You're welcome! John performed at Rush Limbaugh's wedding last weekend. Elton agreed to the appearance because the only people gayer than him are Republicans. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph Macchio told reporters that he has mixed feelings of the upcoming version of the 1980s remake of The Karate Kid. While the remake makes Macchio feels, feel old, he's happy that people want to talk to him again. <laughs> Magazine has reported that Alanis Morissette and her boyfriend got married in a small ceremony last month. Ironically, there was rain on her wedding day. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, on Friday, Shia LaBeouf turned 24 years old. As a birthday present, Harrison Ford got Shia shoes that he is not big enough to fill. <laughs> You're welcome. Cosmo! <laughs> she means it. Researchers are working on a method to whiten clouds as a way to reflect more sunlight back into space to reduce global warming. They will plan to make the clouds whiter by forcing them to listen to hours of Matchbox 20. <laughs> A village in the Netherlands is offering jobless women a membership to a dating website so that they can find a husband and get off unemployment benefits. However, once married, the women will still have to support themselves because couples in the Netherlands always go Dutch. <laughs> An Ohio woman was arrested for calling 911 five times just to say that she needed to find a husband. <laughs> Said the woman. Don't worry. I figured out a way where I can have a husband and have a legitimate reason to call 911. I'm going to marry Charlie Sheen. Yay, me! Yay! Yeah! Woo-hoo! A study in Finland 
suggests that short people have a 50% greater risk of heart attacks than taller people. The study explains that this risk is due to someone placing their heart medicine on the top shelf. <laughs> published in the July issue of Pediatrics Magazine finds that, finds that children of lesbian couples generally do better in school and in life. However, they generally do worse in haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> A woman who appeared on an ABC reality show, Wife Swap, has been accused of stabbing her husband. After her arrest, her husband immediately asked ABC if he could make another swap. <laughs> The census in Indonesia has found a woman who claims to be 157 years old. Still no word yet on exactly when Cher moved to Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> and now with an in-depth look of some of this week's big stories in a segment that's twice as important as AC360, Philip Wilburn and TSW720. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Melissa. As the Gulf oil spill continues to spew, the economic impact on the surrounding states is continuing to grow. Here to share his expertise is the attorney who represented the fishermen in the 1989 Exxon Valdez oil spill, Brian O'Neill. Hello, Brian. Have you. Yes. Brian O'Neill, everyone. Now, Brian, earlier this week, you projected that the, a dire future for the Louisiana fishing industries. Yeah, well, I believe the exact quote was, anyone affected in Louisiana is fucked. <laughs> well, I was trying to make it sound a little more legal. <laughs> oh, well, no need. That's the actual legal term for their situation. <laughs> fucked. That's actual legal terminology? Yeah, it goes back to the uh, landmark opinion in a case I tried against the Exxon Valdez spill. Uh, fucked versus Exxon. My uh, client, Stephen Fucked, was a sport fisherman. His, his business was completely destroyed by Exxon's negligence. Now, this is just a grim indicator of what's going to happen in the very near future in Louisiana. I see, because, you know, I thought your statement, while refreshingly frank, was exactly the sort of thing you'd expect to hear from, you know, it wasn't the exact thing you would expect to hear from a legal professional. <laughs> Well, I guess you don't know many legal professionals then, Philip. <laughs> sure. I mean, any, ask any attorney, any attorney, they will tell you any fisherman that wants to collect against BP is going to be up against rulings like 1972 Snowball versus Hell, uh, 1985's, uh, what was that one, Eat Shit versus Die, and <laughs> even going back to 1934's Shit in One Hand versus Wish in the Other. <laughs> is there any case that you could use against those who caused the disaster? Not really, but uh, I would say to those people that were shouting at the, uh, during the whole 2008 election about drill, baby, drill, they need to really look back at the landmark set in 1922, which was a seminal ruling in the case, which was fuck versus you, you know? <laughs> I hear you. Found out the attorney Brian O'Neill, everybody! <laughs> Now, the World Cup began on Friday, and one of the week's most anticipated games resulted in a 1-1 tie between the U.S. and England. Here to report is Top Story Weekly's own Derek Reed. Yeah, USA! USA! Yeah! Yeah! USA! USA! Hey, Derek, USA. Derek, Derek, what, are you, what are you doing? I'm taking off my shirt in celebration. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tradition. Come on, straight shirts. No, no, no. Put your shirt back on. We're doing a show. <laughs> All right. Tell sorry. us about the game. Come okay. on. Fine, fine. Well, Heavily favored, oh, let me put my shirt back on. Put it on, yep. put it on. Heavily favored, England. England pay for that. All right. England scored first, but in one of the most amazing plays in the history of the World Cup, Robert Green goalie let the shot from Clint Dempsey slip his fingers, and the U.S. scored the tying goal! USA! I look good! USA! Uh, that's an automatic yellow card. <laughs> Right. One more and you're out of here, so all what's right, next right. for okay, the right. U.S.? Well, I mean, England is by far uh, the U.S.'s top opponent Derek. in this round. <laughs> and I think, we can, I think we can pick up some points against Slovenia <laughs> and, uh, and go on to the round two. USA! 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 Derek, you're out of here. Thanks, Derek Reed, everybody. And his hunky body. You're out of here.
out of here too. <laughs> and finally, <laughs> and finally, Marvin Isley from the legendary R&B group, the Isley Brothers, has died. I'm told the news made his brothers want to shout. Kick their heels up, shout. <laughs> Throw their hands up and shout. A little bit softer now. A little bit softer now. A little bit louder now. A little bit louder now. <laughs> For Top Story Weekly, I'm Philip Wilburn, and this also is a wig. Good night!